welcome to my channel hope all of you are doing great welcome back today i'm here to discuss about sacred geometry and the shriyanth its relevance in an our life and purpose this particular video is inspired by a question which i received from a new wonderful subscriber Ranjita Pillai. Hope I have named you properly. I am truly thankful for asking this question and giving me the opportunity to explain and share my reflection on the same. So when we ask question related to sacred geometry, this is not just about the arrangement of dots, lines, polygons, circles in a certain arrangement and combination, not just that, but something more to it, it is the arrangement of the cosmic energy across at a macroscopic and even at a microscopic level. So starting from how the cosmic design is done, the same thing we can equally see being evident in a single cell, even in the structure of a DNA. There is a beautiful arrangement of using golden ratio all across. So things which are as basic as the DNA helical strand, to as complex as how the universal or the cosmic energies are flowing across and creating a beautiful symmetry across is all governed by a certain axis of symmetry, a certain axis of its own alignment. And all of this is really helpful to ask question about our own journey and further see to its relevance in our own journey how we are able to align ourselves with these energies or not. So when we see the sacred structure, the very basic one, the egg of life, these are all very responsible and helpful to understand the evolution of life and the evolution of the cosmic structure across. So the egg of life, the most basic one, and as we move on to more complex one, which are like the seed and fruit of life, and further more complex to it, like the tree of life. And I've tried to discuss a detail of tree of life in one of the video. The tree of life is nothing else but the arrangement of the cosmic energy, the flow of energy through the chakras and affecting the inside energy and as well affecting the outside world, helping us to beautifully understand as above, so below one of the hermetic principle. And we move to the next higher level of Markhaba or the Markhabic field. The Markhaba, which is the tetrahedron kind of a structure, two stars moving in opposite direction, the balanced masculine and the feminine energy. Further, as the structure keep on replicating and getting more advanced and complex, reaches to a stage of vector equilibrium. Vector equilibrium in terms of spiritual physics is a stage of zero pulsation, also known as cubohedron, a cubotile kind of a structure. Now, if we are really in between all the arrangement and symmetry of the sacred structure, if we are really interested to question our own journey, our own alignment with the true purpose and the true purpose is to get aligned with the higher energy, higher consciousness in our life, we are blessed with something like a yantra. Now, what is yantra? Yantra, in a very basic way to understand, it comes from a Sanskrit word. Yam means instrument. Tra means releasing from the bondage. And what are the bondage here? Bondage which 
do not define you fully as your true nature what is the true nature the true nature is the higher consciousness so anything which is moving away from that direction is disalignment so the yantra helps us to get into the aligned symmetrical stage of mind body and soul the most beautiful out of all the yantra the most beautiful yantra or said to be the queens of the yantra known as the shri yantra shri yantra is said to be the embodiment of devi or the goddess lalita tripura sundari we can read the detail of lalita tripura sundari in lalita sahasranama lalita sahasranama is one of the book which mention about 1000 different types and forms or names of lalita so when we talk of different forms of the goddess or the feminine energy what are we trying to actually do we are trying to understand the different feminine energy nature and how the feminine energy is getting more stabilized more into the stage of equilibrium when we worship tripura sundari she is said to be one of the balanced graceful well established or a, a essence of completeness is there with devi tripura sundari or in that stage of the devi tripura sundari she is one the practitioner who practiced tripura sundari is practicing the 10 maha vidyas there are 10 maha vidyas in tantra and they, that is nothing else but different feminine energy in establishment and harnessing and working on those energy as per to our own nature so uh when we study the shri yantra we find there is a outer square layer or the outer square structure this symbolizes with the earth element further when we try to question our own nature this symbolizes the most gross negative emotion within us now for example if you are practicing any kind of meditation any kind of uh, affirmation even and you realize you uh, realize that there are certain negative emotion which comes to the surface quite often now in the ideal most state it is very easy and effective to say that we need to be good human being we need to practice righteousness that is really beautiful and that is really appreciable but what about the negative emotion which get surface we must accept and acknowledge those negative emotion the outer layer really helps us to acknowledge the most gross emotion if they exist or if they come to our surface and helps us to see or mirror our own nature which is the existing state of mind what is the benefit of that the benefit of that is that slowly we learn how to let go slowly we learn how to really embrace the negative and move on to the next phase because ultimately it's a choice which we have to make ultimately it's a change in the behavior it's a change in the habit which we are working on when we are practicing any of these aspect in our life if you are trying to manifest something through the yantra that's as well very beautiful but i need to be very conscious to see what is the right or what is not the aligned action which i am performing if i am able to even acknowledge and accept that that's also a beautiful step to move on to the next level then we see some t kind of structure to the outer layer or the square now these t kind of structures are nothing else but the gates the gates denotes the direction the directions of the earth plane which are mainly the four directions the north east south west 
so in vastu it is mentioned that there are these direction have different deities different goddesses which control which really helps to energize these direction and placing shri yantra with a specific direction helps to get those energy aligned within us again when we move from the outer layer of the square and then we get to the next phase that is the circle we can see there are three main circle now these three main circle also is said to be the three phases or three types of devis or the goddesses uh, in its existence now these three types is uh, said to be one when she is very young the second when she is very pretty gorgeous and third when she is wild and terrible all of that is the goddess energy it is up to us to understand where all we exist in our own journey and then channelize it accordingly again these three circle they are also symbolic to past present and future symbolic to brahma vishnu and mahesh also the three types of karma karma is nothing else but what we think say and perform finally perform so the past is nothing else but sanchita which we have stored the present which is prarabdha one which i am acting right now and the future which is agami is all based on these two the sanchita and the prarabdha so when i'm working on changing my habit i'm also working on changing my past and changing my future so in the present all the timeline exists in the present all the dimension exist if we are able to settle beautifully in the now we are able to make peace with the past as well in the future as we move on in the layers of the circle the first layer has 16 lotus petal that really mainly symbolize with the sense organs for perception and further five elements five elements which are also known as the pancha mahabhuta which include the earth water fire air and the space again to the next ring after 16 petals we get eight petals and here we try to focus on specific ability of the brain which includes things like speech grasping ability motion enjoyment attachment attraction and so on again when we move towards the center we see different types of triangles triangles mainly moving upward which shows the masculine energy triangle moving downward shows the feminine energy the masculine energy also signifies the fire element the feminine energy also signifies the water element now it is said that these arrangement of the concentric triangles helps to focus on specific element of the feminism or the feminine energy as well as the masculine energy as per to our own journey because in one of my video i have tried to mention that in the chakra starting from the root chakra to saharsa there is the acting energy of the shiv and the parvati the uh, masculine and the feminine both together as we move from the lower chakra the root to the higher chakras like the heart or the throat when we reach there the nature of the masculine and the feminine energy here is more clear is more advanced it more distilled or in very simple way the masculine energy is more healed the feminine energy is also more healed and here 
we try to understand that all these dimensions, even the unhealed part exists within me and the most healed, advanced, clear, distilled, stable state of mind also exists within me. So when you start working on all these levels, you based on these triangle and the movement of the triangle, there are different elements related to it. Like uh, in the feminine part, it is related to wealth, accomplishment of blessing, luxury and many such things. So when you focus on these elements, this is the movement of the feminine energy to more higher state and likewise the masculine energy simultaneously moving from the most raw to the most higher, clearer state of mind and clearer state of action. So ultimately, the Sri Yantra really helps us to see our own alignment within when we start meditating with this structure and helps us to see the alignment outside and how impactful we are with our energy to the outside energies, to the outside universe as well not just getting affected by others energy but creating significant impact with our own energy because we are truly very powerful being with the same light as god we are created in the same light as the god's energy so thank you very much hope this was meaningful and helpful to all in our own journey of helping to discover and see our self in a better way. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful life and take care.